Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a logo to your WordPress website. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to start creating the navigation across the top here. So remember we created the top navigation just as an example. We also created a little footer navigation. You can see it says my WordPress website, just another WordPress website, and that's not very good, right? We want to use a logo, some sort of branding. So we need an example of a logo. I'm going to go over to my website and then go to my portfolio. And we'll just use one from here as a demo, just as an example. So it doesn't really matter what we use. We could use any of these logos that are created from our customers but we'll use this one here I kind of like this logo right let's drag it to the side here for a second this window and we'll open up this little folder on my desktop and we're gonna go ahead and we'll just um, drag this logo into here so we can use it you can see I've used it on like, other different designs and stuff like that we we'll gonna use this logo on the website so let's just resize this window slightly like this and we're going to go into the control panel and we're using the 2021 theme All right so there's the 2019 2020 2021 so this is the most recent theme and probably next year in 2022 uh, there'll be another theme that's created by wordpress as a default theme so when you install wordpress typically these three themes are installed as default you can install other themes like dv themes or you could use elementor or something like this but we're using this theme because it's free and it's nice and easy to use and it's quite fast and responsive as an example to demo how to do these things but typically depend you know regardless of what theme you're using normally you'll go to customize and inside customize you're going to have site identity you're going to click on that you can put a site title here so i'm just going to write uh, developer uh, example website here i'm going to write that into here and i'm just going to get rid of this just another wordpress here and right here it says select logo right it says select logo i'm going to click here and we'll drag this logo into here. So we've got these little places to visit in India. This is the logo, it's just a sample. And we're gonna click select. And then it gives us an option to crop, right? So I'm gonna add a little bit of white space above. So I'm gonna a little gap above, a little gap below. And I'm gonna close the gaps around the edges here a little bit. But I'm gonna leave a little bit of white space around it, just a little bit of white space like this. We can close this folder and expand this. And we're gonna click the crop button here, crop image. And we'll crop it like this. So now you can see the little logo placed above there. We're going to click publish and we can close this for the moment. And we're going to go here and refresh the website. And now we can see a nice logo placed here. This text here, we could actually remove it, completely remove it. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial. But for now, uh, we might even place the navigation in the center. I'll show you how to do that as well. But we've got the logo working. That's what we want you to do. Up here, you've got the little WordPress icon. We don't really want that. So let's go back to the website. Let's go back to the customize. And inside customize, we're going to click site identity. And in here, it says that you can add a site icon, which is 512 by 512 pixels. So if we were to open up GIMP software, normally I'll do this in Photoshop. And really, I need a high res logo, but I'm just going to show you an example of how to do this. And you, you might want to speak to your developer um, and ask them to send you a high res version of this logo. So I'm going to drag this, um, this logo into GIMP software. And I'm going to create a new file as well, so a new project. And it's going to be 512 by 512 and we're going to set the resolution let's just click on the advance and set the resolution to 72 dpi should be fine All right 72 and we'll set the background to transparent transparent we could yeah let's just leave it as transparent we'll click ok so we've got a blank canvas here we're going to go back to this project here we'll click on the uh, rectangle selection tool I just want to draw around the icon here draw around it and we can just expand it here a little bit something like this right and we'll press ctrl c to copy this copy it ctrl c click over here and press ctrl v to paste it and then we can go to uh, select and then let's see uh, in fact what we need to do is anchor it down so we click this little green icon down here right down here click it and that will anchor it and the selection should get removed but now we should be able to click on the move tool we can move this icon around but really i want to resize it so i want to click here and click scale click on the icon and we just want to grow it a bit right so we're just going to grow it out so that it covers most of this um 
this canvas to something like this not right to the edge maybe around here and we'll click scale now preferably you would have a better resolution of your logo but I'm showing you the cropping and, and the method behind it and you could ask your developer or your designer for a better resolution logo or ask them to make one that is 512 by 512 but leave a little gap around the edges and I'm just going to click here on the swatch and set it to a white color click OK and then I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool and I'm going to create a new layer quickly just another new layer and we just make it a transparent in fact we could make it the foreground color because the foreground color is white now so we can click OK and then drag this background below this logo and now everything has a white background we can now go to file and we can do an export right export and we're going to export it as a JPEG file so let's find JPEG in here JPEG let's go to my desktop we'll go into here and we've got the original logo here and we're just going to call this ICO ICO dot JPEG we'll click export and then we'll leave it at 90% compression and click export so if we minimize this and look at this folder now we've got this little square logo or this circular logo and we will use that as the icon so let's go to WordPress and it's asking us to upload a 512 by 512 we'll click here and we'll drag that icon into here as well and we should really give it an alt name so we'll just call it ICO for now and we'll click select and let's just go ahead and publish this and we can close this and if we go here and refresh it we can now see the little icon up here can you see the little elephant icon right here that is that icon being recropped and pressed into uh, compressed and added into here right so we resized it so preferably you speak to your designer and ask them to send you a higher res version of this logo a much better quality version of it this was just a sample from my site so that you can crop out this uh, circular shape or whatever your icon is for your particular uh, uh, logo um, and then you can add it to here and then you can use that and add it for the little site icon here and that's how you go about doing that so we added a logo here in the previous tutorial we added the navigation and now we've added the little site icon up here as well so that's just a couple of things that we've done in WordPress so far um, let's go ahead and minimize this so that's how you go about adding a logo to your WordPress website. You can do that using different themes. So depending on the theme, you should still find the options inside of the customize to add your logo and also add your site, your site icon for the uh, browser as well. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.